Hello, my name is Roxanne Mirage, and I'm a transition team member for the Permanent Future Earth Secretariat, representing the Montreal Global Hub. On behalf of our global consortium, it is an honor to have been chosen as the Future Earth Global Secretariat. We have a superb legacy of great global environmental change programs to build on for Future Earth. We look forward to working with, learning from, and partnering with you and reaching out to new research and stakeholder communities to ensure that Future Earth achieves its ambitious goals. Today, we will present to you our plans for the Permanent Secretariat of Future Earth and how we propose to engage with and develop the Future Earth community. Our outline for today's presentation is very straightforward. We want to present to you who we are and how we came to be, our consortium's vision for Future Earth, and our Permanent Secretariat's mission to help achieve this vision. We will also present what we think a Secretariat should do and how we plan to do it. We know this is a work in progress, and we are looking for a dialogue with all of those already engaged in the GEC programs or interested in contributing to Future Earth to help us in this process. We will then briefly present how we intend to be operational to serve the community in a very short time frame. The Permanent Future Earth Secretariat will be a globally distributed secretariat working in a highly networked structure. One way to think of it is we are a single corporate entity sharing a virtual office. Many successful corporations are operating in this fashion, enabling a broader and richer diversity of ideas across cultures, leading to greater innovation and success through collaboration. We currently have five global hubs represented as squares on this map, that are located in Montreal, Canada, Paris, France, Tokyo, Japan, Stockholm, Sweden, and Boulder, Colorado in the US. We also have four regional hubs represented as green stars for regional reach in Latin America, Europe, Middle East and North Africa, and in regions of Asia. Our intention is to expand globally, looking for more regional partnerships, particularly in many different regions of Africa, Asia, and beyond. It is essential for this Secretariat to be truly global if we are going to meet the ambitious goals of future Earth. Fostering North-South, South-South, and North-North connections are essential for moving towards a more sustainable global culture. Therefore, there are many advantages to this network structure, including the elements of inclusivity, the diversity of perspectives that fosters creativity, the shared resources to serve the community, and the many time zones for performing the Secretariat functions. Of course, we recognize that there are many challenges in networked organizations, and we want to be open about how we are actively trying our best to resolve them. Communication, even in a non-networked organization, can be an issue, but we plan to minimize this by ensuring regular and frequent meetings among hub teams and all our partners using the best available IT platform. Another possible challenge is building strong secretariat function teams across hubs. Our intention is to hire strategically and create complementary work teams from the outset. We must have a sense of unity. This could be a challenge, but the entire Future Earth program is based on the principles of co-design and co-production. Designing the Secretariat, as we have over the last months, is a testament to our upholding this principle of co-design. Keeping the big picture of what we are trying to achieve could be a problem, but we have incorporated more strategic functions in our secretariat design, which will help with this. So we fully understand if there is some skepticism to our approach, but we are doing our best to minimize any potential pitfalls. In order to get the Future Earth Permanent Secretariat operational, our consortium partners have formed an 11-member transition team. The team is made up of two representatives from each of the global hubs and an international coordinator. This group is very diverse and includes members with a broad range of research experience at different career stages, with some very experienced and some new to GEC programs. We also have members that have experience in the business sector, government service, and in secretariat startup and coordination. We are currently engaging with several members of the Future Earth community and intend to work closely and learn from ongoing GEC programs, the Interim Secretariat, the Future Earth Science and Engagement Committees, 
and the Alliance as we move through this transition phase. It is important to point out that these people are putting in maximum time to get the Permanent Secretariat operational, but as of yet, the new globally distributed Secretariat has no permanent staff. We will soon be carrying out searches for the permanent leadership and staff across all the global hubs over the next weeks. Our regional hub partners will also be involved in this transition phase and will be critical in helping us establish regional hub guidelines and modes of operation. Our current partners servicing Latin America, Europe, the Middle East and North Africa and part of Asia will be responsible for future Earth engagement broadly within their own regions. As you can see here, some of our regional hubs are either already networked in their region or actively beginning that process. Given the prime importance of regional engagement in the success of future Earth, we have formed a transitional regional task team. This team will include representatives from all of the global hubs and our regional hub partners. We will also invite other members of the community from programs with regional expertise such as START to advise the regional task team. This team will help us form a regional hub strategy that will enable the creation of more hubs, particularly in areas that are currently underrepresented. It is perhaps important to explain how this consortium came to be. Each of the global hub cities were among others that originally put in a letter of intent to serve as the permanent Future Earth headquarters. We met in November 2013 at the Ixus Bidders Conference, where we were asked to both compete and to collaborate, which led to interesting discussions. All of the countries that had expressed an interest to host the Future Earth headquarters decided to sit together and explore whether there was a more innovative way of servicing the global research community that built on the enthusiasm of the group. Canada, France, Japan, Sweden, and the United States decided on creating a network structure that could easily incorporate new partners from all over the world, be they regional or global hubs. For the following months, we worked very hard and collaboratively on the Secretariat structure presented in the bid. Our bid was formally accepted on July 21st. Although the timeline is very tight, we intend to be operational to serve the core projects and the broader future Earth community by January 1st, 2015. It is difficult to encapsulate our vision for this endeavor Future Earth seeks to meet the profound and mounting challenges of global environmental change and the transition to global sustainability by harnessing the capacity of the global research community across multiple disciplines and engaging with a wider array of stakeholders. To achieve this ambitious vision, we intend to be an interactive and inclusive engagement platform that services the projects, researchers from a wide range of disciplines, and stakeholder communities from around the world. We will promote and enable the co-creation of new knowledge products that will provide a step change in how we do research and provide society with viable solutions towards sustainability. Knowledge products from Future Earth will aim to resolve and better understand global environmental and social issues within the context of global change, including climate change. This knowledge will be generated from both fundamental and solution-oriented research performed with integrity. Future Earth needs everyone. The Secretariat must be open, inclusive, and transparent. What will we do as a Secretariat? We will support and enable the implementation of knowledge sharing between researchers and stakeholders. We will develop and implement innovative mechanisms for bottom-up inputs, synthesis, and integration across all research domains. We will manage fundraising and actively seek out less traditional sources so that we can better support core projects and committees. We intend to serve the community through effective communication, thoughtful engagement, and active enabling. This figure represents a stylized depiction of our globally distributed Secretariat for Future Earth. The five global hub partners are considered equals in the overall Secretariat functioning and leadership. 
Management will be done by an executive team led by the executive director in close collaboration with the five global hub directors. Global hubs are represented as multicolored circles where each color represents a secretariat function. Every hub will serve all five secretariat functions and will form function teams. The way in which function teams will be organized is every hub will co-lead two particular functions. This is represented in the figure as the bolded segments. These function teams will be strategically designed to embed complementary skill sets in the team and will work across hubs in the virtual headquarters. Headquarters will be complemented by a number of regional hubs to expand the regional reach of the Future Earth mission. Global and regional hubs form the overall Future Earth Secretariat that will engage a wide range of researchers and stakeholders in the spirit of inclusivity to provide policy-relevant solutions towards the transition to sustainability. Listed on this slide are the five main functions that will be delivered across hubs to serve the Future Earth community. The coordination function team will oversee all of the secretariat operations and will maintain internal communications. Our research enabling team will provide the strategic and operational support for current and new research activities. This will include working with core projects to engage stakeholder communities. The communications and outreach team will effectively communicate the knowledge products of the core projects for the future Earth community and the public using both classical and state-of-the-art technologies. The capacity building team will train and enable the current and next generation future Earth community and find new approaches for transmitting knowledge across cultures and disciplines. The synthesis and foresight team will enable new knowledge products and identify new challenges, opportunities, and research needs. We plan to serve you through engagement in the spirit of co-design and co-production of knowledge, even in how we serve the community. It is clear that all of the functions of the Secretariat must communicate and work effectively together and learn from each other. We will ensure that we work effectively not only within, but across teams to best service our different partners. We also hope to engage with past and current program leads and all of our partners in the spirit of co-design to create the best practices to serve and enable all of the future Earth research and engagement activities. Between now and January, we have a lot to do. We will actively seek any insight that could be offered from those with experience operating a secretariat. The transition team is also working closely with a consultant who has 20 years of experience working in a corporate network structure. One of our first tasks will be to set up our virtual headquarters with the best available IT system to ensure effective communication from day one. We hope to have the system in place for a month prior to our taking over the core projects so that we can work out any of the possible glitches. Over the next months, we will be hiring the permanent global hub directors and secretariat staff. Transition team members will continue in leadership roles until hub directors can formally begin. We will be implementing the three core functions of the secretariat across hubs, coordination, research enabling, and communications. Core function staff will be in place as of January 1st. Other functions are being developed, but will be implemented in a second phase six to 12 months after we are operational. We are also setting up different outreach activities to inform the future Earth community and plan to actively engage with all of our partners to best understand their needs. If you want to have further information on the people involved in different task teams, or information on our current funders and the list of institutions involved in our consortium bid, please contact our coordinator, Lucie Rabidou. And finally, many people were involved in the conceptualization of the bid and we would like to gratefully acknowledge their contributions. Thank you for your attention and several hub representatives from our transition team are here to answer your questions.